Hi guys, this is Yappo, and today I'm going to be playing the third DLC of the Borderlands campaign called Entanglement here. I think this map's pretty interesting because it's got two very short one-way paths and not a whole lot of places to build towers. So you really got to think about where you're going to put your towers and how good they're going to do you and where they are. And so we're going to try and get some... Uh, some towers down here pretty quick that'll hopefully uh, take care of some of these smaller first waves. Without too much trouble. Let's clean this place up. One nice thing about this map being so small is that they don't give you very large waves just because there's not a whole lot of spots to put towers. Can't quite upgrade our meteor tower yet, but hopefully after this wave we'll have enough. Get our cores back. We need to eliminate that. Looks like a couple of them might sneak through here. We can succeed here if we maintain focus. And that's part of the trick for this map is getting uh, stuff that can hit both sides and making sure that you upgrade that as quickly as you can. Hopefully these two gun towers can finish those guys off and I can up my defenses in the meantime. I've got a shield in the others. Throw a cannon up there, hopefully it'll help take out some of these bigger ones. And I need to upgrade that uh, meteor tower as soon as I can too. Like right now. Here they come fast. Other thing is, since the paths before the cores are so short, I don't feel like I get anywhere near as much interest as I normally would. with uh, some of the longer maps. And let's throw another gun tower up here real quick just to make sure. Now, hopefully these bulwarks will go down fairly quickly, but it's not looking super promising. So uh, let's upgrade the gun to our cannon here real quick and hopefully that'll soften them up before they get out of here. And the nice part is that cannon will hit all the units over here as they go around the, uh, the core housing so it will should help soften them up even more than it normally would. And Unfair in the thread was uh, kind of telling me how to play this a little better, so I'm trying his strategy a little more, where I get a few towers down quickly and upgrade them as soon as I can, rather than trying to get more towers down first. waves coming in here. I'm going to go ahead and throw down a laser tower. Hopefully that'll light some stuff on fire for me. Mm. 
We're getting through a little far up there on top, but cannon's still handling them fairly easily, so. Uh, it seemed seem like we're doing fairly well so far here. I'm gonna try and save up my money just a bit here. And uh, hopefully get that cannon back there upgraded because it's doing a pretty good job for me. Here's a fresh batch of them. Uh, I think. There goes another core. Ah, uh, I just missed it. Crap. Well, now you get to watch me replay this. And, uh... Let's go ahead and upgrade that tower since we know what's coming. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and add a... Ah, uh, never mind. I'm not gonna add anything just yet. Hopefully this gun upgrade will help us out for these guys. We got one of our cores back. There we go. That went quite a bit smoother. Let's go ahead and upgrade this one since it's hitting both top and bottom paths. Oh, that crasher went down really quick. Let's go ahead and upgrade our meteor tower here real quick. Shit. Did I actually get all of them? Oh, wow, that was way too close. Hopefully the Meteor Tower will help us take care of some of those guys. Get our cores back. We need to eliminate that. Ah, uh, it's not good. So, I know I keep skipping back, but I'm trying to avoid having to do what I did on the last map and record it a bunch of times, so it kind of gets you a little more feel for how I have to play this game as opposed to, say, Unfair, who can just jump up and hammer a level out. I'm a little bit jealous, I'm not going to lie. These guys are getting pretty close over here on this end. I don't think that bulwark's gonna... Oh, no, there it goes. I'm really surprised that... That guy made it through and I didn't have to laser him. So upgrade these towers over here and hopefully this cannon on the bottom will be able to hit a few of these things coming through. Go ahead and upgrade it too. I'm thinking it'll hit this far path and some of the ones that come through on this path. It's my strategy at least. And rumblers are super dangerous on this map just because everything is so close together. That's what a cannon's made for. 
go ahead and upgrade this cannon real quick because we got some more big units coming through. Oh, good thing some of those guys out of the uh, some of the, out of the turtle went back for cores. Otherwise, that could have been real bad. Go ahead and upgrade our meteor tower one last time. Hopefully, deal with some of these smaller groups coming in. Put a gun over here, it should be able to hit both the exit and the guys coming around for the cores, so... Kind of keep with our double duty on these paths here. It's not great, but it seems to work alright. See how it does against waves coming in from the other side here. They're taking them! We got a bunch of really big units coming in here. Like four juggernauts. One right after the other. It's not good. Although those didn't make it very far. I think these juggernauts are weaker than the normal ones because of the map length. Alright, and I've got a lot of money, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some more guns through here. Reinforcements. Looks like we're doing fairly well here. I think that gun, I'm not sure, but I think that gun tower can shoot down as they come around the cores too. I think I'm going to go ahead and put another meteor over here just because they cover the map so well. The gun didn't leave much to clean up, did it? And I feel like I'm in fairly good shape here. Nothing's getting too far along. The guns are doing quite a bit of work for me here. that one upgraded because apparently unfair was saying the green ones don't cause splash damage so hopefully that'll help us do a little extra damage to groups like this especially okay so it looks like I need some more guns over here I just barely got through that one without losing cores. Probably should have planned ahead and put a temporal tower down here around the middle somewhere, but I think it'll be alright. Man, those rumblers come quick on this level. Raw firepower has its uses. No I'm trying to save up a little bit of money to finish upgrading this last meteor, but the guns took them out. Oh, that's not good. Uh, uh. Alright, Meteor Tower saved us. These guys are getting a little close for comfort here, and I'm not sure exactly what I need to be doing to help alleviate some of this trouble. Oh, 
hopefully this meteor upgrade will help us out with some. That seemed to help us out quite a bit, actually. We will not survive without our core. Ah! Dang it. The sky is falling. Trying to get enough money to upgrade this thing before they get here, but I don't think I'm gonna make it, so. There we go. And let's put another gun tower in here just for fun. Hopefully, that'll hit both paths at least a little bit. Seekers are going to call in more aliens if we don't kill them. And we've got some bigger waves coming in, so let's go ahead and upgrade these. There's some smaller units and waves coming in, so try and get these gun towers upgraded. Meteors just tear up those small units. It's great for me, but. Oh, this is not good. I'm gonna have to use laser on this one, I think. Just to be safe. Those were all small units, but. I don't know what I'm going to do from here, but... Oh, uh, never mind. Uh, this path is the one that I've been having trouble with, and I've got space to put some more guns over here, so we'll do that. Oh, Rumbler sneaking through. Oh, this is the last wave, I think. I'm gonna be okay. If that decoy goes down quickly enough. And yeah, only had to only had to go back a couple times, but uh oh, apparently I just got the achievement for having all of my towers all the way upgraded. So go me. Hooray. Perfect. A joy to behold. And another silver medal. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.